Hello, and welcome to this presentation on synonyms. Let's get started. What is a synonym? A synonym is a word that has the same or similar meaning as another word. Here's an example. Silly can also mean foolish. In this example, foolish is a synonym for silly. Sufficient means enough. Enormous means huge. Difficult means challenging. So the bold words in the red are synonyms for the original word. So enough is a synonym for sufficient. Huge is a synonym or another word for enormous. Challenging is a synonym or another word for difficult. Okay, let's move on. You can find synonyms in a thesaurus. A thesaurus is a book of synonyms. To find another word that is the same or similar to a word that you are looking up, use a thesaurus. What is another word for generous? Well, let's take a look on the next slide. So here's a screenshot of an online thesaurus. We have typed in the word generous and we want to find synonyms for generous. That means we want to find words that mean the same thing as generous. So you see the words highlighted in the dark orange, acceptable, benevolent, big, charitable, considerate, fair, good, helpful, honest, hospitable, lavish, reasonable, thoughtful, tolerant, unselfish, willing. You want to go with the words that are highlighted in the orange and that appear first because those are the most likely words that you're looking for. Notice you have a lot of words, but you want to choose the best ones that mean what you're trying to say. If you are trying to say, Carl is a generous student. Maybe you're trying to say he's a thoughtful student. So you would use the word thoughtful. Carl is a thoughtful and kind student. So thoughtful means kind of the same thing as generous, but maybe instead of saying generous, what you really wanted to say was thoughtful. So this is how synonyms work. You might know a word that pretty much says what you wanna say, but there might be an even better word. And so that's why you look for synonyms and that's why you use a thesaurus to find synonyms for the word that you are looking up. So here are some examples, and I want you to take a moment to read the examples, consider the answers. You might just want to consider the answers in your head, or you might actually want to pause the video and write your answers down. But let's take a look at some examples of synonyms. One, adequate light. Does adequate mean bright? sufficient, or additional. Number two, very reluctant. Does reluctant mean happy, delicious, or unwilling? Consider your answers right now. Sufficient means adequate, so the answer for number one is B. Another word for reluctant is unwilling, so for number two, the answer is C. Okay, let's move on to more examples. Three, preliminary decision. Does that mean best, first, or last? Number four. A great challenge. Does that mean test, meaning, or lie? The answer for number three, preliminary, is B, first. First is another word that means preliminary. Number four, challenge has a similar meaning to test, or test is another word for challenge. 
Example number five, to deceive someone. What is another word for deceive? Is it leave, steal from, or trick? Number six, feel fatigued. What is another word for fatigued? Is it heavy, tired, or rested? Write your answers down right now. Number five, deceive means trick. Number six, another word for fatigued is tired. Did you get those correct? Oh, well, you have the opportunity to answer a couple more. So let's move on. Number seven, cautious attitude. Does that mean silly, careless, or careful? Number eight, preceding page. Does that mean after, before, or later? Careful is another word for cautious, so C is correct for number seven. Number eight is B, before. That's a similar word to preceding. Number nine, accomplish a task. Does that mean deny, complete, or shirk? Number 10, majority vote. Does majority mean greater part, lesser part, or equal part? For number nine, the answer is B, complete. Accomplish means complete. For number 10, majority means a greater part. So the answer is A. Okay, let's do another round just to review synonyms to make sure you understand what synonyms are. So synonyms are words that have a similar meaning or the same meaning as another word. So example number one for this review, reap. Does it mean harvest or sow? Reap means harvest. Number two, animosity. Does that mean love or hatred? Animosity means hatred. Number three, tame. Does that mean subdued or wild? Tame means subdued. And blab. Does that mean gaudy or tattle? Blab means to tattle, which means you're telling on something or somebody. You're a tattletale. That's what that means. Number five, final. Does that mean beginning or terminal? Terminal is another word that means final. Number six, manipulate. Does that mean healing or influence? The answer is B. Influence is a similar word to manipulate. In summary, synonyms have the same or similar meaning as another word. Use a thesaurus to find synonyms. Use dictionary.com to find synonyms online. Be careful to choose the closest word in meaning to what you're trying to say and choose the best word that means what you are trying to say in your writing. So choose the best meaning and the best word in order to complete your sentence. All right, hopefully this presentation has been helpful to you. We've got a lot of great resources to help you with your writing. Student success grammar skills. Maybe you don't feel comfortable with grammar. We've got a class to help you with that. Student success writing skills. What exactly do your teachers want you to know how to do in the classroom? We've got a class to help you with that. 
student success essay writing. Oh, this one is good for K through 12 and college students. Do you know how to write a narrative essay or a classification essay? This class covers all of the major essays you will write in middle school, high school, and college. So you definitely want to head to the website, www.arhampton.com and click students for all of these great classes. We also have grammar books to give you more practice and to teach you what you need to know about writing so that you can write well in school and in business and whatever you want to do in the rest of your life. You are always going to have to write something. So we have the classes and the books to help you do that. We've got Student Success Grammar Skills, the book. And we have adult learner grammar essentials. So if you are in high school, getting your GED, adult education, or if you are in college, we have writing classes and books to help students in every level of education. So just head to my website, www.arhampton.com for all of these great resources. And you can always look at the YouTube channel for free. That's youtube.com slash P-R-O-F-A-R Hampton. That's Prof. A. R. Hampton. All right. Thank you so much and happy learning.